The city of Boston has received the court's okay to move ahead with its police body cam pilot program. Pilot programs have already taken place in several Massachusetts cities and towns, and some have moved on to permanent use of body cameras. Last October, we brought you a story about the possibility of police body cameras here in Somerville. With so much attention on the issue locally, we want to share that story with you tonight. Recently, police departments across the country have come under fire for controversial policing tactics. Incidents involving police are at the forefront of the public eye, with cases like the shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson and the death of Eric Gardner from a police chokehold. Events like these have sparked movements against police brutality, especially from the campaign of Black Lives Matter. The implementation of police body cameras could decrease controversy surrounding the badge. Somerville Mayor Joseph Curtitoni has been vocal in his support for police body cameras here in the city. Chief David Fallon's on board. We're on board and we believe in the utilization of this technology because it offers greater transparency uh, to the public, uh, for ourselves, and greater protections for the public and for the police officers. The use of body cameras not only offers a new transparency to policing, but also provides a clear account of all police interactions. We have a greater understanding and visibility and evidence of what occurs in a particular event, incident, traffic stop, or uh, public emergency scene. There's a lot of skepticism of public safety officials, public institutions today. Uh, we're real proud of the rank and file in our police department. We have an incredibly progressive police department. Uh, police Chief Dave Fallon is leading that charge. But this offers another level of transparency and accountability that the public really deserves. New technology, like police body cameras, has the potential to infringe upon privacy rights of Americans. Mayor Curter Tony has been working with the American Civil Liberties Union to make sure the public civil liberties are not forgotten. So here in Massachusetts, the ACLU of Massachusetts position is that um, police body worn cameras, um, if implemented with the right policies, can lead to uh, safety, security, and transparency really on both sides of the badge. The ACLU thinks body cameras should be turned off in certain situations. For instance, talking to a victim, when entering someone's home, and when speaking with someone providing a confidential tip to the police. We don't want that information to be recorded and kept forever. There should be deletion policies to say, you know, we're going to get, if we don't need this information, we're going to get rid of it. Because if you collect this amount of data, um, you can use it to, for more surveillance state. Uh, of things, and that's not what we're, uh, we're asking for, it's not what we're looking for. We also think it's not something that privacy-minded and civil, libertarian, civil li liberties-minded people want to see in mm -hmm. society. The Methuen Police Department just finished a 90-day pilot program with body cameras, and Chief Joe Solomon understands the ACLU's concerns for how long footage should be kept for. From our readings of what the ACLU is looking at, is 30 days. Most officer complaints are 45 to 90 days, so we're feeling 90 days is a reasonable amount of time. I hate to have video and get rid of it and not be able to show the person what they thought was inaccurate or what they said was accurate was accurate and we were missing the videos. Those concerns aside, Chief Solomon received nothing but great reviews on the new technology. We were uh, very happy with the uh, results of the uh, test pilot program that we did. Uh, we weren't sure going into it what, how the reception by the officers would be or how the reception by the citizens were. And as we worked through the pilot program and then we actually did a, uh, a survey online, we found overwhelming uh, majority of people that uh, were in favor of it. Now that the pilot program is over, the Methuen Police Department is taking strides to make body cameras a permanent addition to their division. The goal of the body camera is people think it's a panacea and it isn't. It's just one more tool that we have, no different than our weapon or a nightstick or a pepper spray or our verbal skills. It's one more tool that we can use and we can have you know, at our uh, disposal. Methuen is one of a handful of cities and towns with pilot programs in place. The Essex County Sheriff's Department has been using body cameras for three years and works closely with Methuen. There was a learning curve at the beginning. It's just a matter of uh, remembering to, to activate it, you know, in any high stress situations. They're a great tool. I mean, we're being, you know, everybody knows that, that we're being audio and video recorded with cell phones and stuff like that. So at least now it gives our perspective on, you know, why we did what we did and, you know, in the situation that happened. 
Mayor Curta Tony and Chief Fallon also talk with departments who have used body cameras to learn how to properly institute the technology. We are learning more uh, about those municipalities or counties or districts or states that have implemented this technology and we're going to continue to learn more so we can understand what mistakes have been made and learn from that. We're committed to using it because the benefits uh, to protect you know, people's uh, rights and civil liberties to offer the greatest transparency uh, for the public, for our offices, uh, uh, are so overwhelming that it, it, it makes more than absolute sense that we must pursue this new technology. Mayor Curta Tony is currently in the process of collectively bargaining police body cameras. He hopes to have them installed in about a year. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Ellie Romano. After the successful pilot program, the city of Methuen has equipped 47 officers with body cams. Chief Solomon plans to have the entire force wearing cameras in the near future. Here in Somerville, negotiations between the city and the police unions continue.